Alright, hello everyone. Uh, I started playing FF7 recently again, and which is pretty funny because I started playing it like the day before the remake was announced. So anyways, I've been using a pretty interesting materia setup that I found in uh, that I saw the speedrun use and I figured I'd give it a try. So I have kind of my interpretation of it for a more casual playthrough. So what I have is a bunch of HP plus, uh, counter attack, Death Blow paired with Added Cut, Cover, Long Range, and these are just two whatevers. But, uh, so the focus of this thing is to use uh, Tifa's Power Soul weapon, which you get just before the Materia Keeper in Mountain Eyeball. And it says powers up when near death. So there's a couple of things that this means. is like when she's in critical health, she gets a damage bonus. And when she's in like a death sentence status, she gets a damage bonus. So, early on, you can get the enemy skill uh, Death Sentence in the Ghee Cave, which is just before Mount Nibel. So, by the time you can fight the Materia Keeper, and the earliest you can get the Power Soul weapon, you can already have the Death Sentence, which is half of the, half of the combo. Uh, so, again, like I said... Uh, the HP pluses are just going to help her survivability. Uh, counter attack is going to have it so that she counters most attacks that hit her. And since she's going to... Okay, well, she has uh, the curse ring. This you don't get until... Uh, this you can't get until Med you can go to Medeal, which is in Disc 2. Uh, it, it increases your status by a lot, but it starts you on, off in Death Sentence status, which you're going to find is not going to be a detriment to us at all because of the Power Soul. But the other component I have is the uh, death blow added cut. So death blow is either a critical hit or a miss, which normally would be really bad <laughs> if you just miss all your attacks. But when combined with added cut, you'll see that it, when we get to carry armor, it's going to be able to do like a crap load of damage. Uh, and then cover allows her to cover attacks when, con when combined with the counter attack material, and her death sentence status is going to be pretty insane. So we're going to go and uh, we're going to fight some battles. The Power Soul is actually really strong, even early on when you don't have this kind of pseudo-broken setup. I wouldn't say this is like completely broken, but it's definitely very strong throughout the game. So you're going to see that she's going to attack Tifa. Tifa gets hit. Tifa's death sentence. She does 3,800 damage. I don't think I'm going to even get a chance. For your reference, Cloud does about 700 damage with a Rune Blade, which is kind of weak. But see, she covers, counterattacks, instant kill on the enemy. It's really, it's actually quite fun to use. <laughs> and since she's in the back row, she takes less damage. And she's got the long range material, so it doesn't affect her, um, her physical damage at all. <clears throat> and then, you know, she got the curse ring, so she does, she gets more strength and stuff from that. But yeah, it's definitely a really fun setup. Pretty cool setup, too. Uh, it's one of the more, I guess, quote unquote, advanced setups. Her limit, actually, no, her limit's not gonna go off. But yeah, you see, she just crit for 7,000. So, uh, this is how I've beaten most of my bosses in this playthrough. I am a bit over leveled. I did grind a bit in Medeal before, uh, before the Temple of the Ancients, just so I could have kind of a, like a linear playthrough without having to grind too much. So, this is just gonna be a quick cutscene, so I'll explain some stuff. Uh, the setup is really good. Uh, I think when I did the Materia Keeper, I did the death like I had to cast Death Sentence on Tifa. And I think I killed it in like four hits, because Death Sentence missed or not Death Sentence, uh, the Death Blow missed a couple times. Oh yeah, so yeah, the, you have to go to Gunaga to get the the Death Sentence, which is or not the Death Sentence, the Death Blow material, which is a bit of a grind, but you can be uh, or a bit out of the way, but you can have this set up by the time you get Sid, basically, just before you get Sid, which makes a lot of fights that would be really hard, or s can be kind of hard if you don't uh, prepare for them, like the Temple of the Ancients boss fights, the Red Dragon and the uh, the Wall Monster, can be pretty hard, but then you'll find that with this Power Soul Death Sentence, you know, set up that it's actually quite easy, and I used it for everything, I used it for Genova Birth, or sorry, Genova Death, Genova Life, uh, I think I three-shot Genova, Genova Death, I might have two-shot her, but it's really strong. 
And we're gonna see how how fast I can kill carry armor with it. It should be it should be pretty pretty amusing. I also have big guard, which gives haste, so that's one of the things you're really gonna wanna do. Big guard is insane in this game. But I like this setup a lot and it makes it so that like Sometimes you feel a bit weak in these games, but this is just like bordering on like Final Fantasy VIII levels of ridiculousness. And not having to cast that sentence is pretty huge. So, does he have big guard? Maybe off along the way. Start a battle with big guard, she can pop a death blow. So, I mean, it's not bad, it's like a thousand damage for Aqua Lung, which is alright. But Tifa. Should nail him for like a thousand, like ten thousand damage almost. I don't even know if there's anything worth mugging. So, missed, but she's getting added attack. This is 2500. It's not bad. The thing is, death look and miss, which makes it really bad. You can apparently pair it with like uh, really high accuracy weapons like Vincent's sniper rifles. Yeah, so okay, 4000. 2500. Which is by no means bad. And if he's gonna attack, Tifa should counterattack. Oh, she didn't. It's not good. This is making my setup look way worse than it actually is. <laughs> yeah, so that, okay, her counterattack just came late. I'm just defending because I wanna kinda see how long this takes with Tifa. The only thing that kinda sucks is you, it kinda puts you on a timer. But you see how crazy this is, right? Uh, supposedly you can get another weapon that has like the same effect as the Power Soul in the Shinra Tower. But that's at like the end of this too. So you see like... It's pretty crazy. <laughs> Obviously you can be way more overpowered like this, but this is what I've been relying on to do the most of my damage. For most of my boss fights. Yeah, so that wasn't too bad at all actually. Carry armor is one of those bosses that can be kind of difficult. This kind of goes to show you one, at least one of the broken setups. Oh look, a weapon for Tifa will be using. I guess it's worth noting that the Power Soul also has double growth. So uh, one of the things that I always found is that Materia kind of is slow to level unless you have like a double or triple growth weapon on. So I just get my submarine now. But anyways, that's uh, that's that. Thanks for watching, and uh, see you next time I decide to post a video.